He was a German philosopher and Christian mystic. He was recognized as an original thinker within the Lutheran tradition. He had a profound influence on later philosophical movements. His name is Jacob Bohm. In the small town of Gorlitz, Germany, in the early 17th century, a man named Jacob Bohm was born into a humble family. From a young age, Bohm exhibited a deep curiosity and an insatiable thirst for knowledge. His parents recognized his potential and encouraged him to study various schools of philosophy and the art of his time, hoping to broaden his perspective and nurture his intellect. As he delved deeper into the realms of thought, Bohm's ideas began to take shape. His unique interpretations of Christian mysticism and Lutheran Protestant theology caught the attention of his contemporaries, who saw him as an original thinker within the Lutheran tradition. In 1612, Bohm published his groundbreaking book, known as Aurora, which caused a stir within the religious and intellectual circles of the time. Bohm's ideas were not easily accepted by the establishment, and his unconventional views sparked controversy and scandal. However, his philosophical insights would go on to have a profound impact on later movements, such as German idealism and German Romanticism. One of his greatest admirers, the renowned philosopher George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel, hailed Bohm as the first German philosopher, recognizing the groundbreaking nature of his ideas and the lasting influence he would have on German intellectual thought. Jacob Bohm's legacy as a philosopher, Christian mystic, and theologian continues to resonate to this day. His willingness to challenge conventional wisdom and explore new philosophical frontiers paved the way for future generations of thinkers. Bohm's life and work serve as a reminder that true intellectual progress often comes from the courage to question, challenge, and transcend the limitations of established knowledge. Jacob Bohm, born into a humble Lutheran family in Alt Seidenberg, had a journey of self-discovery that would shape his philosophy and impact generations to come. As a young boy, Bohm worked as a herd boy and later became an apprentice shoemaker. Although he had no formal education, he immersed himself in the Bible and the works of visionary thinkers like Paracelsus and Weigel. Bohm's thirst for knowledge and spiritual understanding was evident even in his early years. After years of traveling and gaining experience as a journeyman, Bohm returned to his hometown of Gorlitz in 1592. He established himself as a master shoemaker and married Katerina, with whom he had a loving family. Bohm's mentor, Abraham Behem, introduced him to the Conventicle of God's Real Servants, a study group that delved into mystical teachings. It was during this time that Bohm began to have profound mystical experiences. In 1600, as Bohm focused his attention on a beam of sunlight reflected in a pewter dish, he had a vision that revealed to him the spiritual structure of the world. This experience unveiled the intricate relationship between God and humanity, as well as the nature of good and evil. Although he kept this vision to himself, Bohm continued to explore his spiritual path while fulfilling his responsibilities as a husband and father. In 1610, Bohm had another profound inner vision that solidified his understanding of the unity of the cosmos. He believed that he had received a special vocation from God, further propelling him on his spiritual journey. Bohm's dedication to his craft allowed him to buy a house in Gorlitz and eventually transition away from shoemaking. Bohm's philosophy, influenced by his mystical experiences and deep contemplation, offered a unique perspective on divinity in human existence. His teachings emphasized the interconnectedness of all things and the importance of personal spiritual exploration. Bohm's profound insights continue to resonate today, reminding us of the significance of seeking meaning and understanding in our daily lives. Twelve years after his visionary experience in 1600, Jacob Bohm embarked on a journey of philosophical exploration. His first book, Morgan wrote him Offgang, also known as Aurora, was initially written solely for his own contemplation. However, fate had different plans for his work. A manuscript copy of the unfinished masterpiece found its way into the hands of Karl von Ender, a nobleman who had copies made and began to circulate them, ultimately giving the book its name. But not everyone was receptive to Bohm's profound ideas. Gregorius Richter, the chief pastor of Gorlitz, obtained a copy of Aurora and vehemently denounced it as heretical. He even threatened Bohm with exile if he continued to work on it. This condemnation caused Bohm to pause his writing for several years. However, the urging of friends who had experienced the transformative power of Aurora compelled him to pick up his pen again in 1618. Undeterred by the opposition he faced, Bohm delved deeper into his exploration of divinity and wrote De Tribus Principis, or The Three Principles of the Divine Essence, in 1619. It took him two years to complete his second book, which was followed by a series of treatises. These works, filled with profound insights, were painstakingly copied by hand and circulated only among close friends and supporters. Amidst this flurry of writing, Bohm penned The Threefold Life of Man, 
answers to 40 questions on the soul, the incarnation of Jesus Christ, the six theosophical points, the six mystical points, the mysterium pansophicum, and informatorium novissimorum in 1620. The following year, he wrote De Signatura Rerum, and in 1623, he added on election to grace, on Christ's testaments, Mysterium Magnum, and Clavis to his repertoire. Despite the controversy surrounding his works, Bohm's intellect and wisdom were recognized by the nobility, high clergy, and professors of Dresden. This acceptance provided him with respite during his stay in the city. It was during this time that Bohm began his final book, The 177 Theosophic Questions, while staying with her von Schweinitz in the countryside. However, fate had other plans for Bohm. He fell ill with a bowel complaint and was forced to return home in November 1624. Tragically, Bohm's life was cut short, and he passed away on November 17, 1624. His immense body of work, including major works like the Signatura Rerum and Mysterium Magnum, left a lasting impact on philosophy and spirituality. Bohm's writings continue to inspire and provoke contemplation, offering profound insights into the nature of divinity and its relevance to our daily lives. Jacob Bohm, a German theologian and mystic, delved into the nature of sin, evil, and redemption in his writings. Drawing from Lutheran theology, Bohm believed that humanity had fallen from a state of divine grace into a state of sin and suffering. He saw evil as encompassing fallen angels who had rebelled against God, with the ultimate goal of restoring the world to a state of grace. However, Bohm's ideas diverged from accepted Lutheran beliefs in some aspects. For instance, he rejected the notion of justification by faith alone, as expressed in his work, The Way to Christ. Additionally, Bohm presented a unique perspective on the fall, viewing it as a necessary stage in the evolution of the universe. This departure from traditional theology could pose challenges in interpreting his mystical vision. According to Bohm, in order for humanity to reach God, they must first traverse through hell. He reinterpreted the concept of the Trinity, stating that God the Father represents fire, giving birth to his Son, whom Bohm referred to as light. The Holy Spirit, in Bohm's view, embodied the living principle or divine life. It is important to note that Bohm did not believe that God considered evil desirable or necessary. In his work, Threefold Life, he emphasized that evil cannot produce good within the natural order. Bohm attributed evil to the fallen state of nature, infected by the rebellion of Lucifer. Evil, to Bohm, represented disorder, perversion, and a deviation from the initial divine order. Bohm's philosophy found correspondences in his work Aurora, with the seven qualities, planets, and humoral elemental associations. He sought to integrate these principles into his interpretation of the Trinity, further expanding his theological framework. In conclusion, Jacob Bohm's theology explored the nature of sin, evil, and redemption within the context of Lutheran beliefs. While he deviated from conventional interpretations in some areas, his emphasis on the fallen state of nature and the need for restoration resonates with his understanding of divine grace. Bohm's philosophy offers insight into the human experience and the quest for spiritual enlightenment. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.